Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just here with Renee. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are watching my pimple routine at home. Y'all know I do everything myself and we are about to transform my hair from straight back to curly. I had a still press for about two weeks and now we're going to get into my wash day routine. So I'm going to do a double cleanse. I cleanse twice because when your hair is straight, it gets super, super oily. I'm going to go in with the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. This is my favorite. It's really thick. It lathers really, really well and it's super moisturizing. So if your hair has been feeling dry lately and you want to cleanse your scalp but have your hair feeling moisturized still, this is a shampoo for you. I like to split my hair into two so I make sure I'm getting all in the middle and the back and just scrubbing everything really, really well. And then I just rinse it and then I'll repeat the same process. I don't know how the girlies film their shower routines without the camera getting steamy. But baby, we had to wrap this up because it got too steamy. On the days that I wash my hair, I also wash my combs and brushes because duh, it makes sense. I'm using the Soak It Off Detox Cleanser from Taraji's line. I love it. It gets everything super clean, strips away all that dirt. Now that we are all washed and ready to go, I haven't conditioned in the shower yet because I'm doing this deep conditioner from Eva NYC. I love her down. She's thick. She's creamy. She moisturizes my hair so well. She clumps the curls. It's just the perfect hair mask okay i cannot rave about this product enough no i am not sponsored i just love it that much from this video get the hair mask girl it's so good if you're like me and you're washing your hair after it's been straight for two weeks use that mask okay i got mine from target um i'm not sponsored in any way but i do have an amazon link and it's in my description if you want to try it out style girl and my towels over there because i just got out the shower like i said and i haven't filmed a shower routine yet but i do have some items that i have been using as my holy grail for after my shower routine so post shower routine if you will so let's get into it first things first this is the topicals um ingrown tonic is so good if you have hyperpigmentation down there you shave or you just have dark marks and you want to get rid of them this prevents ingrown hairs so i feel like it helps with hyperpigmentation because you don't get as many ingrowns so the next thing i do straight out the shower i have to moisturize everybody know about this okay the eos the cashmere vanilla cashmere smells so bomb and it's super thick let me see if i can show y'all like it looks like a ribbon when it come out she thick honey i love her down oh my god she's really good for the winter because like i said she's super thick so she's like my go-to she stays in my bathroom something else that i love this stays on my perfume rack because i like to put her down before i spray my perfume so it can stick better and last longer on my skin this is the so de janeiro the bum bum it smells like vanilla, but it has like a tropical scent to it. It's, it smells really, really good. She's a little bit lighter than the EOS, but it still has a very creamy texture to her. I love her gown. And the, clearly, I love vanilla, okay? Because the warm vanilla sugar, oh my God, from Bath & Body Works, I just washed up with the body wash on like my top area. You know, not only a sensitive girly. She smells divine. This is like whenever i travel i take her with me because she just smells so stinking good i don't know i love going to sleep smelling good so um i also always pair it with the so de janeiro spray um 
of course this is a duo clearly i love her because she's almost gone oh this is the pistachio in salted caramel flavor it doesn't smell like that to me honestly it gives me more vanilla vibes um with an undertone of amber that's what it gives me in terms of scent but yeah those are all my smell goods and then i've been trying out girl these faded um eye patches and i don't know if i've seen a difference yet <laughs> i just think they're cute to wear honestly truthfully or maybe i haven't been wearing them for a long, a long enough time so yeah comment down below what body care is your favorite products let me know in the comments so i can try some new things now that we are all moisturized and whatnot it is time to get into some skincare i'm actually gonna demo plan my face today so first things first i have to pull my hair back because i don't want any hair getting on my skin okay i mean basically just lightly shaving off the peach fuzz and dead skin off of my face i am a hairy girl okay i grow a mustache and you know brow i have to do this maybe once a month you don't want to do it too much because you will irritate your skin speaking on that if you have active pimples or acne like i do you want to make sure you go around them because you don't want to irritate skin that is quote unquote broken so let's jump right into it first things first i get my razors from sephora you can get yours from amazon to beauty supply whatever floats your boat but i just like how this blade it comes with three different ones that you can change in between so um you're kind of saving your money because you can just keep the handle and switch out the blades I always um, sterilize my blades with hot water and a little bit of alcohol prior to starting. And I get a paper towel. I have her on standby so I can kind of wipe off the blade as need be as it collects hair. You want to add some type of moisture to your face. Right now I have nothing on my skin. It feels so dry girl. But I'm going to be using the snail mucin from um, Jumiso. It's the Snail Music 95 Peptide. I love this. Clearly, I'm almost out. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this onto my face as I go. I start with my forehead. I would show y'all how I do my eyebrows. But they're already done, girl. I'll show you a little bit of what I do. And I wanted to pull my hair back so I could do my sideburns and flick them. So I know, like, what hair to get off. Because, girl, we got to get off all this peach fuzz. Y'all, for the most part, my skin is doing good. It's just all these dark spots that we got to get rid of. So, fingers crossed that the stuff from my dermatologist works. But, yeah, I just add a little bit of the snail mucin as I go. And it's super simple. Like I said, go around any active acne, pimples. I like to go in a downwards motion so that's with the grain for the most part and i'm kind of pulling at the skin as i do it just so i can get a really clean shave like i said my eyebrows are already done so i'm just gonna go around them um if they weren't i will be going way closer to them so i could really actually like you know shape them up but that's all i do and now i'm going back to the other side because that side doesn't have any product it doesn't have any snail mucin yet. So, just going around everything really lightly. You don't want to be too rough because you don't want to irritate your skin. And as I'm going down my cheek, I'm still lightly pulling and just lightly dragging the blade. And then I kind of pull up, ew, <laughs> and all this stuff comes off. It looks gross, girl, but your skin is going to be baby but smooth once you're done. A little more product, put it down here. You do not want, the last thing you want to do is down upon your face on dry skin. Do not do that. Don't do it at all. As far as going around my sideburns, I literally take any and everything off that isn't in my little swoopty swoop. And I just go down. Get rid of that beard, basically. Hello, like, Jesus. It'd be so much hair. And after you do this, you're going to have the most beautiful canvas for your makeup. No hair is going to stick to your products. 
My skin is gonna be smooth like butter. For my brows, I take a wet Q-tip and I just go around them so it can collect all the hair and get it off. Ew, gross. This is like the easiest beauty hack. All you gotta do is take your time and be patient. If I was doing my brows, this is what I would do. I would first get my spoolie and brush her up brush her up and then I will go get my tweezers I tweeze girl I get everything underneath here and everything in the middle if I didn't you know shave it and then I get these itty bitty little scissors girl they are the tiniest things ever and I go in and I just I only cut the top of my brows to trim the hair so they can stand like straight up. And I always brush my tail out and clip anything that needs to go. But like I said, my brows already look good. I just did them the other day. I should have waited. If I knew if I knew I was gonna be filming this video, I would have waited and did it for y'all on camera. But yeah, bro, my brows is looking good. Now I'm gonna go in with my regular moisturizers. But first, I'm gonna wet my face to make sure I can get rid of all that residue from the snail museum. Oh my god, it's so soft to the touch. I love it. And then I'm just gonna pack dry with a paper towel. And put on my favorite moisturizer, which is from the La Roche Posay. It's the Double Repair Moisturizer, and it's so good. And I'm only going to go in with a little bit. So, boom, now that the eyebrows are done, the face is nice and smooth. It's giving lash tutorial time okay i know i do a lot of lash tutorials and nail tutorials on my channel but people are always asking me questions still to this day so let's get into a really cute classic cat eye short set so these are the lashes that i will be using they are from Baba Bye Bye lash i got them on amazon last time clearly i used these ones at the bottom they were a bit darker and what i'm going for now was like a really natural look so we're gonna try this set today i'm only going to be using 11s and 10s i want a really short set um these are the tweezers that i'm going to use you can get these from any and everywhere and then the bond and the lash seal that i will be using is from the eyes okay um i may have a discount code in my description box if you click on the link tree link it says discounts and social media just scroll through there and see if i have a link on there for you guys also when you want to take them off because i don't like having lashes all the time i'm also going to use the vi's lash removal these lashes are going to take me 10 minutes to do <laughs> it's that simple and they're probably going to last me about four to five days before I want to snatch them off. So first I'm going to apply a little bit of the lash bond to the base of my lashes by lifting my lash up. You don't want to coat your lash like mascara because it makes your lashes clump together. So only put it at the base. And I like to brush back and forth. I have a full dedicated lashes for you on my channel. Doing these lash clusters as well if you need more detail and then i'm going to take my first lash cluster looks like this and i'm just going to apply directly where i just added the glue and i like to hold it on there for about five seconds and then i push the lash onto my lash to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere boom there you have it i'm gonna bring you guys in so you guys can see a little bit better but lash clusters have me in the choco because it's so easy And they don't take my natural lashes off. Even when I remove them the incorrect way, they don't take my natural lashes off. And I truly appreciate that. That's one reason why I couldn't do lash extensions as frequently as I used to because they would pull your girl lashes out. And I'm not paying all that money to like eventually be bald in the eyes. But yeah, y'all, this is a very repetitive process. Right now I'm doing 11s and when I get past my pupil, I'm going to switch over to 10s. And I'm just going to speed up this process so you guys could watch with some music. Mm. 
up my pamper routine at home i hope you guys enjoy let's do a quick recap okay we did a wash routine we did a deep conditioner we got into some body care done reclining and lashes to me that is a great way to keep yourself up at home without having to go to any appointments and rely on any text so if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and give me a comment down below and like this video so i am aware that you want more content like this in the future and i will see you guys in the next one bye mamas